so the question is uh, we have alpha and beta are the roots of the quadratic equation this so once they have given us the roots as soon as they are giving us roots we are going to find sum of zeros and product of zeros so alpha plus beta is what what is the formula for alpha plus beta minus b by a minus b by a minus b by a so from this quadratic equation can you tell me what is a b and yes. c tell me a is 1 a is 1, B is A minus is 7, and C is 10. B is B minus, minus 7, 7, and C is and 10. 10. Okay, so this thing is important. I'll just highlight this thing. Now, we will use this information while solving the question. So, alpha plus beta in that case becomes minus minus seven upon one. Okay, so alpha plus beta becomes seven. That's my first important information. I will be using information. Okay. Okay. Now similarly I will calculate the product. This okay. was some product. So what is the formula for product? Alpha into beta. Alpha is beta is equal to C by A. C by A. So alpha beta equals to C value is 10 upon 1. So alpha beta becomes 10. Any doubt in this as of now? No. Now they are asking us find the quadratic equation whose roots are alpha square plus beta square. So if I have to find another quadratic equation whose roots are alpha square plus beta, alpha square and beta square. So again, I'm going to calculate uh, sum and product. Okay. Now sum would be alpha square plus beta square. Mm -hmm. Is that thing clear? Okay. I'm going to calculate new sum and new product for that quadratic equation. Okay. Now, alpha okay. square plus beta square, I have to calculate a formula and I have to convert this formula into alpha plus beta and alpha beta. That means sum and product only. So if you remember, okay. A plus B whole square identity is what? A square plus B square plus C A B. Plus two. So from here, can I find the value of a square plus b square? It becomes a plus b whole square minus 2a. This is an important identity for us. Okay. okay. So why it is important? Let me share. Because if you observe, this is nothing but alpha square plus beta square. So how will I write this thing? Alpha plus alpha beta. Plus okay. Minus alpha plus, plus beta whole square minus two alpha. Two alpha. Plus. Is that thing clear? Yes. So alpha plus beta value is what? Seven. Alpha plus beta seven square. So seven okay. square minus two. Alpha beta value is what? 10. 10. 10. So 49 minus 20 is what? 29. So my new sum is what? 29. Yes. Is that thing making sense? Yes. New sum is 29. 29. Now, over here, similarly, I will be calculating new product. Okay. Okay. So, once again, let me just draw a line over here. New product. For this, uh, alpha square, beta square. 
Yes. Alpha square multiply by beta square. Beta. Which becomes alpha beta whole square. Clear? Okay. Yes. So alpha into beta is what? Already given 10. Yes, 10. 10 square. So my new product becomes hundred. Any doubt in this? No. So over here, do you remember what is the formula? How to create a quadratic equation? If I have sum and product. Oh yes, alpha plus beta for minus beta. Quadratic equation hmm. is of the form k bracket x square x square alpha plus beta x plus minus two alpha beta minus minus sum of zeros into x plus product. Hmm. One second. Go back to this thing. Hmm. Give me a second. There it is. X square minus sum into X plus product. product. Understood. Yes. So since we are finding new quadratic equation, so we will be writing new sum and new product. So, k bracket x square minus 29x plus 100. So, this is my new quadratic equation whose zeros are alpha square plus beta, alpha square and beta square. Is the thing clear? Yes. Quickly copy and ask the next out. <laughs> 